Yeah, let me just start the webinar. Let me let me just wait for a few minutes before people join in. No problem. Should I? Is it? Should I like get started or something? Uh, just let, let me just wait for let a few minutes. Let me just wait for a few minutes for people to join in. Rom, should I? Is it? Should I like get started or something? Uh, just let, let me just wait for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got some good hundred participants. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, for today's workshop. We have with us uh, Shangan from Polygon. Thank you so much for taking the time off. With Shangan, we'll be talking about building fast and scalable dApps. Feel free to ask questions down in the Q&A tab and Shangan will try to answer all your queries. Without further ado, let's begin the workshop. Over to you, Shangan. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, hey, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking your time. This uh, For me, it's uh, Saturday morning, but for you, it's probably like 9.30, something like in Indian time. So uh, thanks for joining me still. Uh, thanks for being excited about the workshop. Um, I'm Shanan. I work as a devrel engineer here at, uh, at Polygon. And uh, I am here essentially to tell you a little bit about like how to build dApps and how do you deploy dApps, how do you build on top of dApps on Polygon, and also uh, kind of you know why you should use Polygon, uh, why I think Polygon is like super useful and really kind of low efforts for you to use, super easy um, to kind of scale your dApps. So we'll we'll just get started here. If you have any questions, feel free to plop them down in the chat. Um, I'm going to finish with my presentation first and then get to your questions. Um, I've left a generous 15 minutes at the end to answer any and all questions. So let's get started right away. So I'll, I'll tell you a little bit first about Polygon and what exactly it is and kind of how the problem started. So um, I think all of, I'm, I'm sure all of you are familiar with like OpenSea or Uniswap or something like that. If you want to create a position on Uniswap or let alone buy or sell an NFT on OpenSea, the gas fees are, are, are a solid like 50 to 100 bucks. And I think that's a fact that we can all agree on. Um, you know, what, no matter if you're using Opera or Brave or anything, we all, I think we all agree, uh, you know, about the fact that um, gas fees on Ethereum is getting uh, a little bit out of control. Um, and at, at least before ETH2 comes and, you know, kind of uh, before, uh, you know, sharded chains come or, you know, things like that that might help scale the Ethereum ecosystem, um, we need at least a good temporary, quote unquote, uh, solution to uh, this, essentially this oppressing uh, gas fees problem. So, um, you know, Polygon is there to amend that. We're essentially building a, uh, I mean, it, it, we're building an ecosystem on a side chain um, that is deployed on top of the Ethereum uh, mainnet blockchain. Um, so it's essentially, you know, you get to bridge onto the side chain um, and Polygon runs off of this proof of stake system where uh, essentially all the blocks and transactions that happens on Polygon are getting uh, mainnet confirmation and mainnet finality in the end. So everything is essentially, you know, super uh, blazing fast and it's got a good, good amount of decentralization um, all with the uh, mainnet layer one security. And um, the, why, the reason why I'm here essentially to tell you about, uh, you know, like deploying on Polygon, uh, it's because, you know, like not all Ethereum dApps use the same scaling solutions. Like, you know, if you're doing like NFTs, you might want to do, I don't know, some sort of like, um, you know, it, like maybe batch minting for you is perfectly fine versus something like uh, maybe like a DEX where you might want, um, you know, scaling in other, you know, other specific places, right? Um, so just in general, um, there's a lot of different ways to scale your DAPs and uh, Polygon is essentially there to contain all of that. Uh, you know, whether if you are a huge like ZK Rollup fan, 
or you know if you're perfectly fine with just deploying a, you know a scaled adapt or deploying a scaled um, NFT collection, you know this is this is essentially it for you. And the reason, once again, the reason why you want to do this is because you want to offer your users a really good user experience, right? Like, um, especially for either maybe all of you, I don't know how many of you in the audience are like professional uh, Web2 engineers. Um, oh, uh, if I'm um, sorry, I, I feel like uh, I see some messages in the chat about me like lagging. Um, if I'm lagging at all, like, let me know at any moment. Um, I'm going to try to like exit out of a few more things, but, uh, yeah, let me know if I'm lagging. Um, but anyways, sorry, uh, about Polygon again, um, you want to make sure that your users have a really great user experience, right? Like I'm, I'm sure most of you are like either seasoned web two developers or, um, new to web three, maybe not new to web three, like web three veterans or something like that. Um, and I'm sure, you know, that user experience is pretty important. So, uh, I think it'd be a, worse comparatively worse user experience if you have your users paying like 20 to 100 bucks every single time they make a transaction so that's why you want to go on uh polygon i know i know that when i first started joining the ethereum space uh when i first started out in the ethereum space around like 1.5 years ago um i know that i was really troubled by the gas fees uh i'm like uh i'm still a poor 18 year old college student so uh like 16 year old me back then didn't have any money to like afford uh like gas fees especially so i guess for people like me and people like other people you know others uh who just want to i guess like get a try on you know like using dapps and um also just you know especially people who are especially new to the uh, web3 ecosystem um polygon is effectively you know really essential to their onboarding process because just of the like because of the lower gas fees and you know how everything is a lot more easier to deploy and easier to test here um i personally still use polygon for you know like testing purposes like dap testing purposes and like dap deployment so yeah um it's a really it's a really good product so it's a really good dap um or dap deploying platform so um we have a whole lot of uh you know like uh scaling solutions if you want to deploy your own blockchain uh polygon has an sdk for you to do that um essentially I'm, I'm pretty sure it's based off of tendermint um so if you have like experience with uh developing on the cosmos ecosystem with like tendermint chains um you know i think that'll be really familiar for you uh polygon proof of stake is super easy to do um and it has like okay amounts of security and decentralization which is what we're going to be showing off today um, and with regards to a few of the more experimental slash uh, in development, uh, you know, solutions, we got Hermes, Maiden, Nightfall, and Zero. Um, these are like super secure, super fast, and, um, you know, they're really promising, but they're still in research mode. So um, I hope you remain excited for that as we continue down the line in the future. Um, and, you know, there's a whole ton of Ethereum scalability solutions to choose from. Um, and honestly, it's up to you. It doesn't, you know, um, as far as I know, you know, being on as many chains as possible for your dApp is good. Um, you know, like, and with that, I meant like layer twos and all that, um, you know, because it's just so easy to deploy, but I think Polygon, because of its super vast ecosystem, uh, big pools of liquidity, and also just the fact that we have so many people, like there's literally 200, around 200, like people around you that are like super interested in deploying on polygon so there's no reason not to deploy along with the 200 people around you right um cool so right so um you know there's a once again i said there's a super wide ecosystem and deploying on polygon which i'll just show you uh is is super duper simple um you have backward compatibility with Ethereum. So you're essentially using all the same tools and dApps that you're using with um, mainnet Ethereum. So JavaScript, React, EtherJS, um, Solidity, and maybe a few like Solidity testing suites. Like, if, I don't know, if you use like Brownie, right? Brownie uh, test. Uh, or if you're using like some more advanced tooling like uh, Echidna or Manticore, um, you're using the exact same things except uh, it doesn't hurt as much when you deploy on mainnet. Um, sorry, give me a second.
sorry guys um my bad um uh someone just knocking on the door anyways um so uh so right where was i uh i was on manticore right so um you know uh you're using the essentially the exact same tooling that you're using on ethereum as you are with polygon and everything is backward compatible you have a faucet you have like your blockchain explorer there for you um you know uh if you want to use remix you can also inject uh you know you can you can inject a metamask into remix with polygon um yeah and it, like once again all the resources that are there for you to build a full stack app um and there is a very nice and convenient bridge for your nfts but uh bridge for your uh eth as well um eth or whatever other funds you might hold um waiting for a confirmation from metamask i'll just show you uh as i continue talking i'll just show you things as we go so uh we have polygon just gonna sign in here it's su super easy if you want to bridge on a uh, bridge funds on a polygon you sign in into your wallet uh, at wallet.polygon.technology. I'm going to post that into the chat. And um, yeah, uh, sometimes there are, uh, like sometimes the bridge is down, but um, one way that I really like to do it, besides for just doing it via the bridge, is uh, these third-party uh, on-ramp payments for people that are just onboarding onto Web3. Um, this is super convenient, like absolute lifesaver. Um, it saves you a lot of uh, gas fees when you're onboarding too. So, um, right, that's enough with the presentation. I'm going to show you a bit of some resources that you, that you can get started with on how to build, what to build. Um, so first of all, this is the first piece of resource I'm going to send to you. Um, there are a ton of resources out there for Solidity development. Let me know if you need them. But uh, there is this repo that is actively maintained by me and uh, some of my uh, colleagues on the team. Um, that is uh, essentially just a repo for you to get started with like hackathons or whatever, right? If you want to build on top of uh, DeFi dApps or if you want to build like an NFT project, there's a lot of like really simple starter kits for you, um, you know, here. So there's one in Truffle, Gana uh, Truffle slash Ganache. There is one in TypeScript. And there is also one in, in JavaScript. So essentially, I think what most of uh, JavaScript slash hard hat. Um, so, so essentially, what most of you are going to be used to build on. Um, integrations uh, also with like Superfluid. Um, there's Chainlink Oracles. Uh, hopefully, they, you know, Chainlink gets those Oracles fixed soon. But I don't, you know, I don't doubt that they'll get it fixed very soon. I think they're all fantastic engineers um and uh you know ave exam you know ave clones if you want to build off that um and if you are like a seasoned brownie developer um right underneath brownie networks um as you can see here you know what hold on sorry about that let me just uh pop on my brownie terminal um i'm gonna share my entire screen now brownie and once again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to pop it into q and I'll answer it later. Um, Brownie Networks list. I think that's how it went. Uh, and so if, you, if we give it a while, uh, you can see here that uh, Brownie Networks has um, a Polygon mainnet fork uh, for development. So if you're testing out like strategies um, or like, te like testing out someone's contracts, vaults, et cetera, or if you just want to build like dApps off of pre-existing contracts on mainnet, Polygon, um, or testnet. No, no, I'm pretty sure there is one for for uh, Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai. There it is. So um, yeah, you can you can totally do so. You know, it's not it's you know, totally within the realm of possibility. Um, right. But the first thing that you need to do uh, to essentially get started with any sort of development on Polygon is you need to get yourself some test tokens. So you just uh, come on over here to faucet.polygon.technology. Um, you can paste in your wallet address. If you're using uh, something like uh, Scaffold ETH, which is proud contributor to Scaffold ETH, but also, um, you know, uh, if you want to use something super awesome like Scaffold ETH, um, 
you can go with yarn account or yarn generate, depending on whichever uh, one you haven't run yet on your new project. And then you can uh, load some test uh, Matic tokens into your test account. So doing the same process here, if you just submit the transaction, there you go. Um, you know, you'll have some faucets for you uh, ready and waiting to go. Um, yeah, sweet. So, um, and speaking of scaffold ETH, uh, if you are familiar with scaffold ETH, uh, this should all be like super familiar to you. Um, I essentially just made uh, a lot of these scaffold ETH repos working on Polygon um, and made, made sure that they deploy well and, and work well and, you know, not, not too many issues with it. Um, so yeah, I, I think, so these should all work fine. Um, let me know if there are any issues with, like, I guess if any dApps are hard to run or, um, you know, uh, if anything is like, I, I guess like difficult or, you know, being difficult. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll, be ha I'll, I'll be happy to hop to it. Uh, so uh, which network should we send the funds to Polygon? Uh, Polygon mainnet. Uh, I think there is plenty of onboarding guides out there. Um, and sorry, just to answer a few questions in the chat, uh, I'll answer like three and then I'll move on. Uh, what is Brownie? Brownie is a uh, essentially an Ethereum development tool that uh, allows you to, I don't know, like it, it, when you create like a React app, you know how there's like the, um, you know, like React app template, the basic React app template. Yeah, essentially you can get that via um, Brownie, you know, your Brownie bake, um, some sort of DAP template, and then you'll be able to have it. Um, right. So, you know, like, because you have access to that, you know, how do you take DAPs that you got from Brownie Bake to Polygon, right? Say if you have like a normal smart contract, right? Uh, super basic. And, um, you know, you have some sort of like deploy scripts already for your uh, smart contract. And, you know, like, how do you take that to Polygon? It's super simple, um, and like I promise you, anyone can do it. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Um, so, uh, terminal aside, uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of some. So, just to show you a little bit of the solidity first, and then we'll get into the real juicy parts of the workshop. Um, this is a super simple, basic uh, NFT contract that I'm deploying. Uh, and the purpose of this is just to show you, like, how do you deploy any DAP on Polygon, right? Um, and then I'll show you a few other cool DAPs that you can also deploy in Polygon. Um, so super simple, basic NFT contract. You initialize the contract with your token name, token ticker. Uh, and every single time you mint an item, you have a token ID that increments, right? Um, and then you have a deploy script here that... Uh, uses ethers to uh, essentially deploy your, your collectible contract. Um, and then, you know, you have, you have a lot of things with, um, you, you have a whole, you have a whole thing with uh, deploy down here and there's actually, um, you know, a lot of other things that are set up for you. So then you don't have to really worry about this deployment process, um, you know, publishing the contract as well. But uh, the main part of what I wanted to highlight for today uh, and the kind of the main idea with why use, you know, this kind of setup is deploying any DAP on Polygon is as easy as making sure that your module.exports contains a URL or like a RPC URL that points towards poly Polygon. Um, and as long as, as long as you have this little section right here, so you see like my network has Mumbai, um, my RPC URL has a Mumbai targeted R RPC um, URL. And, you know, sure, I can specify some sort of gas price. I can deploy this with a specific account uh, generated from my uh, mnemonic function. But that's essentially it. You just need to make sure that your, uh, you know, both your smart contracts and if you're using any like front end hooks, they're all pointed towards your target network on Mumbai. Um, your, you know, similar process with your front end hooks, right? Like if you have any uh, thing that uses, you know, like a specific network, you know, 
uh, on your front end, uh, just make sure you, that you set it also to Matic or Mumbai. Um, and besides for that, uh, there is also a really good piece of documentation uh, online that allows you to connect your wallet to uh, Polygon because unfortunately Polygon isn't offered uh, natively as a, like a default network of um, Ethereum mainnet. Um, but yeah, here's your, here's your, uh, here's your uh, uh, Polygon config doc. It, it, like a lot of this is super basic, right? It's uh, like, you know, if you come onto this page, all you need to do is just copy and paste the relevant information from this little paragraph into um, MetaMask. If you click on MetaMask, you can click on add network into this little uh, window right here. Uh, you get, once again, you get that by clicking on MetaMask and then you get that by clicking add network, right? Uh, so that's also super simple. And now um, with the remaining five minutes that I have left, I will show you that my DAP works. And uh, I will also um, show you if, essentially that this essentially works on other DAPs as well, um, other similar DAPs. So let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, yarn start. So I'm gonna do yarn start to start up my front end. When I do yarn mint, what that does is it fires off this mint.js, uh, you know, uh, mint script that essentially just takes in a two address and uh, mints my NFTs. Uh, uh, they it, it first well it first uploads them into IPFS via this IPFS API, um, and then it mints your NFTs via Ether's dot get contract. Um, and this dot get contract just essentially gets a pre deployed contract for you. Um, you needed to before you do yarn mint you should do yarn deploy, right? That will deploy your smart contract onto the blockchain via um, hard hat. So you're just gonna wait for this a little bit. So once that's done, you do yarn mint and boom, you should have a completely brand new set of NFTs uh, hot out of the NFT oven, ready for you, ready to go. Uh, if, if, you're all, if you're all curious about like where uh, you, I got the code from. It's in that Polygon Academy uh, repo that I just shared with all of you. So you can build off of it yourself as well. Um, and by the way, uh, the one that the starter template that I use um, does not have my real Truffle ID or, or any, any like Truffle mnemonic or anything like that. It is completely based off of like another like Smurf that I created. Um, it is not, it's not my actual thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not doxing myself out here. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I'll totally show you a few, uh, resources actually to, where, on where you can get started, but yeah, everyone, everyone makes a comment about, um, my red background for, uh, for my, uh, VS code. Um, <laughs> all of my friends everyone I've given a workshop to is just like, oh, that's unconventional. Um, <laughs> so yeah, anyways. Uh, okay, so I think if you don't, if you're, if you're new to Solidity development and you don't know which coding language to start with, um, start with, so you can totally start with uh, Solidity. And uh, this is like an example doc for like, you know, understanding Solidity. You can also read Solidity docs to get started. I think this is like more, I guess, well, like technical or you wouldn't read this all day, you know? Um, and there's plenty of courses on, you know, I think there's also, there's a really good course by Maximilian Schwarzmuller. Um, the React uh, Complete Guide. And speaking of Udemy, uh, Polygon actually has a Udemy course coming out very soon. Um, I made it and it's under review by the Udemy team right now. So uh, yeah, I hope you all try that out. Um, right, so I wanted to do also just something. So just showing you all that, that like the staff works. I also wanted to show you all something different. Um, if you wanted to essentially build, let me 
we see here. So we're going to CD into, I forget. OK, let's see here. Which folder was it? Hmm. If you want, if we want to uh, CD into uh, this crowdfund starter dab, uh, essentially the process is, is the same, right? Uh, there's already a, a smart contract here ready for you, and all that is needed essentially is just to turn uh, tra and turn this builder.config.js into Mumbai, right? Um, Oh shoot, I'm out of time. I gotta give give some time for Q and A. Um, but yeah, I I guess you know uh, this is a totally so this is the same this is, is the same process. But um, what I want you to I guess like a solid deliverable that you can do after this workshop if you're interested is I guess you know you can, you can fork this repo, uh, fork this repo, uh, and it will be on Polygon Academy. Uh, right over. Right over here, you can fork this repo and then do like yarn install, yarn start, or whatever. Um, and then just make sure to switch that, um, you know, try it out for yourself. Switch this uh, to Mumbai and then and then try to deploy the dApp. And, uh, you know, if there's, in, you know, try to figure out if there's any, like, if there's any issues, obviously, um, you know, put it in the issues folder or the issues tab on GitHub, but um, it should work. Um, and if it doesn't work, then um, I guess I'll, you know, we'll have to, you can also try that similar thing on um, Rinkaby. Uh, I know that this, uh, for, for a fact, I know the smart contract works. Um, sometimes though, Polygon uh, has some of Polygon's like packages that you get from, you know, that, that you would expect to be able to get, uh, you know, from just the, you know, what's built on Ethereum already. Um, sometimes uh, the various teams haven't finished implementing uh, the Polygon compatible version yet. So that might be a reason why, but yeah, totally check that out and give that a try. All right, um, I should probably answer a lot of some questions. I have a lot of questions in the chat. So, um, you know, let me just share, let me just, you know, let me just keep on sharing my entire screen. That's fine. Maybe, maybe y'all can see my like Q and A tabs or something like that. All right. So, Uh, yeah, a lot of good re recommendations. Patrick, Patrick's great. I love Patrick. Um, shout out to Patrick. Uh, I appreciate, uh, so Patrick actually had me, uh, do like a, you know, uh, had me along with him on, uh, the last Chainlink hackathon. So finally got to meet my hero. Um, so big shout out to you, Patrick. Thanks for being such a, you know, um, such a great role model for me. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see here. What's a DEX? Uh, people are building DEXs out here. Polygon is looking forward to ZK rollups. We have multiple projects or multiple protocols on our team that are building ZK rollups. Um, so not sure where that information got right here. How do you connect with me? Um, feel free to email me at sean at polygon.technology or personal requests. Um, but I strongly recommend that, uh, yeah, give me, give my Twitter a follow, um, shangan.eth, you know, um, you can DM me there. Uh, my DMs are always open. So yeah. Oh wait, y'all can't see the screen. That's so weird. Yeah. See zoom, see with zoom, I don't like know how to share my like Q and a tabs, you know, like the Q and a chat. I'm, I'm just reading through chat. So I don't know, you know. Um, there's a lot of job openings at Polygon. Feel free to just apply. All right, what is RPC? Let's answer this question first. So I consider the RPC like a window to the blockchain, right? Like, um, you know, typically uh, to send, you know, or essentially query, send, receive blockchain data, you would probably have to run like a light node um, at least. And, you know, not everyone wants to essentially install like, what, 20, 20 gigabytes. I, I, I know I know it's more than 20 gigabytes, but um, a lot of 
space worth of like, you know, a guest client on their local computer. So what we essentially default to is other people providing those node services for us, namely Infura, um, you know, and some other like, you know, Morales, you know, they do that. Um, and some of the, my other great friends in the Ethereum ecosystem that also do that. Uh, is there some co uh, cool repo to learn about DeFi to build on Polygon, um, Polygon Academy? I, I've learned, I, I've linked that. And you know what? While I'm at it, you can even have this uh, Polygon Academy, the, uh, you know, the official learning website. Uh, fantastic resource. Uh, I co-created it with uh, our uh, head of dev education here uh, at Polygon, Siraj. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Um, is there some cool repo? Oh, wait, sorry. That was the last question. I already answered that. Can you please provide Polygon Tests RPC URL? Um, so you can use the one from Morales. Um, this is, that is one option. There, another option is using, uh, you know, I think you just give Polygon RPC URL, you know, a little search. There's a lot of other, uh, you can use the super fluid one. Um, or you can just use the ones that I'm using right now, which I will paste into the chat. Um, it's called uh, Matic Visual. Here you go. There, hope that answers your question. Um, local network, yes, you're running a copy of the blockchain on your system, uh, forced from a specific block height. Um, it's not a big deal and it's not too difficult to start up your local network, so. Um, well, I mean, sorry, I, um, there's two versions of that. So you can fork your blockchain, like run a local fork, or you can uh, spin up like your local blockchain, right? Like your local emulated Ethereum development um, environment uh, via Hardhat or Truffle. Um, both, there's some, there's some differences to doing, on, doing it on both, but, you know. Lots of links in the chat box already. Uh, Remix IDE, yeah, you, you can, but um, I guess if you want to build like a front end for your smart contract too, you know, I would recommend doing it via Truffle, Ganache, Hard Hat. Um, I also just think that those things are just more convenient to do. Um, you could totally use Remix for like testing, but I think I personally actually use Remix less and I use like Truffle or Brownie more, um, hard hat even. Polygon does not have literally zero gas fees, but the gas fee cost is less than a cent. Uh, Can everyone? Okay, so also I I would appreciate questions only, in in Polygon and not people just spamming with uh like LinkedIn. <laughs> um. Once again, there is a lot of job openings here, on Polygon, and you would be working with a fantastic team. So. And you know I I think I've enjoyed my time here. Okay. Um. Is it possible to write smart contracts with JavaScript? Uh, eh, not really. You probably want to know Solidity for that. Um, what path would you recommend if you were to start learning dApps? Uh, good question. So uh, I posted a lot of educational resources in the chat earlier. So Polygon Academy, the website, and Polygon Academy, the GitHub repo. Um, there will also be a quick Udemy course coming out soon from Polygon that you should be uh, excited for. Other than that, um, lots of YouTube videos, reading the Solidity docs, um, and building in hackathons. Um, you know, I think that's a really good way to do it. And I mean, also, there's a lot of great people on YouTube, just saying. Um, so just to name a few people that I want to give a lot of credit to uh, that, like, helped me and influenced me a lot. Patrick, as I said earlier, influenced me a lot. Um, Austin is great, Austin Griffith. Um, 
he's like the creator of Scalpel Leaf. Um, like he has a fantastic YouTube channel, and there's even a video of uh, me and him jamming out uh, on Polygon. Yeah, here, look, it's 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 me and him. You know, it's uh, it's pretty hype. It's got like seven thousand views, so it's like, <laughs> um, I guess I'm like, not I'm not viral, but like you know, we we stay humble, we stay humble. All right, um. Please stop spamming with internships. I'm not here to answer internship questions. You can probably direct those questions towards like HR on our team. Um, if you were to start learning depth from zero, yeah, that's where I the questions answered. Or to reach out, uh, join the Polygon Discord channel. Um, Polygon has a lot of developer friends waiting here to be with you. Um, to uh, you know, to to jam out with you, hack along with you. And there's a lot of friends out here that you can make. So what is a ZK rollup? Essentially, um, it's a it's a essentially it's a way to scale blockchain transactions where all of the transactions are computationally verified and everything goes super super quickly. I hope that answers your question. I think that's the best way that I can explain it in like a brief, brief while. How will ETH 2.0 impact Polygon? Polygon will probably stay relevant. I think I think Polygon will stay relevant. Um, I think Polygon's new like zk rollup products and rollup products in general um, will help it stay relevant in the world of ETH two. And it's not like when ETH two comes along, you know, layer twos are not going to be necessary anymore. ETH itself will re remain a data settle a data settlement layer, uh, but all the computational layer will happen on layer two. Uh, how is Polygon more scalable than Ethereum? Uh, I kind of answered that with like the first 15 minutes of the workshop. So don't think I'll answer that again. I'll move on to another question. Extending for Solidity on VS Code. Oh, that's a fantastic question. So the, I so shout out to uh, uh, so there, you know, shout out to this guy, uh, engineer. I, I, I don't know his Twitter handle, but shout out to you, engineer um for showing me like a lot of uh solidity extensions that are relating to like solidity testing but um right so there's there's so first of all if you search solidity in the extensions the marketplace there's just a basic solidity um you can also do this thing you know like your solidity visual developer there's a lot of downloads for this one um I guess I'll install it too. I don't. I haven't had it for such a long time, but um, you can do Solidity metrics. So Solidity metrics is a huge deal for uh, contract testing and understanding contracts, um, in my opinion. I guess those are just three that I would recommend. But you know, um, yeah, quick, quick little answer to that. Uh, okay. Uh, any more, let me see any more questions that we haven't answered yet. Along with Solidity, you should learn. Uh, you should learn some JavaScript or TypeScript for front end. I think you should start with JavaScript though. Um, resend the Discord link. Yes, I will. Oh, you know, I'll just type my answer in here. There you go. Along with Solidity, okay. Uh, definitive resource to run your local blockchain. There's there is no definitive resource. Um, you could run your local blockchain using a lot of things. Uh, benefits of deploying on Polygon compared to Solana. Great question. Um, so when you deploy in Polygon, all of your dApps are uh, essentially uh, ETH compatible. So you're not deploying on a completely separate like blockchain with different specs and a completely different ecosystem. Um, you're still essentially inheriting this kind of like 
interoperability with ETH. You can still build on top of everything deployed on ETH. Um, and you get, well, ETH, essentially Ethereum's user base, um, you know, but on Polygon. And you don't, I don't think you get that in Solana. I mean, Solana, you have their own, they have their own like set of users and, you know, pretty deep trench of liquidity as well. But I don't know. It's, it's up to you, um, up to your like preference. But I personally would just deploy on Polygon because I think it's super convenient. Sweet. Uh, that's about it for me. Um, let me see here. Is there anyone like with any other? Oh, man. Have I been sending links to like hosts and panelists this entire time? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Sean. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. All right. Well, you know what? Hey, let me let me uh, just uh, do like a whole like link blasting session right now. Yeah. Um, okay. So first of all, Polygon. Let me. So first of all, these are the two learning resources. My Twitter DMs are open. Feel free to give me a follow. Um, and then your solidity by example. Uh, solidity. Crypto zombies is also really nice. So I'll just stamp that here. Um, Docs. Polygon technology has a really nice section on connecting. You are setting up your MetaMask here. Um, what else did I need? What else did I not mention? Um, the bridge, right? The, the Polygon wallet, um, the React course by Maximilian, the also the Wait, uh, I need to share my Udemy course that I made for all of you. Um, instructor dashboard. Uh, that's interesting. All right, here you go. Um, that's gonna be the future link. Right, draw my Twitter, right, 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 thank you. How can I forget, right? My own Twitter. Yeah, def definitely give me a follow. Um, yeah, I don't know, like would y'all would y'all be interested if I like started like posting on Twitter? I, I don't know, it's just been like a, I, I don't post too often, but. You know, I guess I, you know, like if you give me more follows, you can stay up to date with what I'm doing and the occasional, the occasional uh, requesting faucet funds of quest. So. Thank you, Shangan, for such an informative workshop. Uh, before folks leave, we have prepared a small quiz for you. He is sitting on the chat, and one of you who gets all the right answers will be given a thousand rupees Amazon watches from us. The form will be open for 15 minutes. The winners will be announced in Discord. I'll just share you uh, the link. Right. I think, uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's my time's up, right? Um, yeah. yeah, thanks to everyone for coming. I really appreciate your attention, appreciate the audience being here and engaging. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me um, or just, you know, DM me on Twitter. And uh, otherwise, thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Okay. Thank you, Shangan. It was a pleasure hosting you again. Thank you so much. Yeah, Take appreciate care. it. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.